What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm reviewing the brand new UltraBoost 3.0. Thanks so much for tuning in guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So I just got back from Adidas' grand opening of their new flagship store in New York. It's like four floors of just crazy shoes, they had a bunch of restocks today, uh, they have my Adidas Ultra Boost now, which is crazy, you can customize your own Ultra Boost. Right now I think it's some limited colors like grey and teal and things like that, but eventually they're going to roll out more colors. So it should be good. But the main reason I was really excited to stop by was because I knew that they were going to have the Ultra Boost 3.0. And to be honest, I've been looking forward to the 3.0 basically since I first saw images of them. Man, they look great. But as with all my reviews, before we get into the shoes, let's take a look at the box. Of course, because this is an Ultra Boost, you do have your standard Ultra Boost box, which is yellow on the top, purple on the side, with your boost text around the outside. I got a size 9, my true size, and with Ultra Boost, I really like going true to size. As I've said in other videos, you really should try the shoe on to know what you like personally, but for me, true to size is great. The retail price on these guys was 180 bucks. With tax, it was like 195 or 197, something like that. And of course, this is the standard black colorway. But moving on, here they are, the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 in this really dope black colorway. Whenever Adidas releases a new Ultra Boost silhouette, they usually drop the black pair first. With the 1.0s, you had a black shoe with a purple heel counter. With the 2.0s, you also had a black shoe but it had this odd sort of green and brown gradient on the toe cap. And now with the 3.0s, their first release is this black pair. And to be fair, they did release other colorways with this 3.0 pair today, like a gray pair and a blue pair. And I think Finish Line dropped the white pair. But really, this is a pair that I wanted to pick up. But starting off the review, the most noticeable difference between the 3.0s and previous models is this prime knit pattern on the toe box that actually wraps around the outside of the shoe. This time around, you've got this really cool black and almost bluish knit pattern that's actually pretty similar to what they did on the Yeezy 350 1.0s. It's kind of like their linear static pattern that they've been doing a lot. And to be honest, I really like this prime knit pattern. I may even like it more than the 1.0s pattern, which, I mean, that was the original, that was the OG, so... I don't know, but there's something about this that I really dig. This primate pattern actually does sort of have a raised texture. You can actually feel these lines here on the toe box. Not only that, but one thing you'll notice is that on the 1.0 and 2.0s, they actually have these perforations on the toe box, which the 3.0 doesn't actually have. This toe box actually looks just like a solid knit pattern. There aren't any perforations on the toe box at all. And from what I can tell, nowhere else on the shoe. I do really like how it's not just a solid black. You've actually got some bluish gray woven in. That actually reminds me a lot of the 1.0, which had a very similar sort of color scheme. Game. Moving back on the shoe, you've got the other noticeable difference between this 3.0 and the previous models. And that difference is that the cage is slightly transparent, so you can sort of see through it. It kind of looks like a dark smoke gray, but if you hit it with just the right light, it almost has like a yellowish brownish tint to it. But other than the color, the actual shape of the cage is exactly the same. Just like the 2.0, the entire upper is made up of prime knit. On the 3.0s, as I've mentioned, the linear pattern actually extends from the toe box up to the tongue and then towards the midfoot of the shoe. On the heel, tongue, and the tip of the toe area, these lines sort of turn into more of a dot pattern. Something that I've noticed is that on this ankle area here where the lines turn into the dots, it actually kind of looks like the American flag a little bit. That's not really important at all. That obviously wasn't on purpose but just something I noticed. Moving to the back of the shoe, you've still got your plastic heel counters, and then on this pair, the Ultra Boost is in silver. On the inside of the shoe, you've got the same black insole with a silver Ultra Boost text that you've had on previous models. The interior of the shoe is almost exactly the same as the 2.0s. In fact, it feels almost unchanged. The padding's in the same areas. They've used the same material on the lining, but to be honest, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Of course, you've got your Boost midsole, which provides probably the most comfortable experience you could have in any shoe, let alone a running shoe. And then on the bottom of the shoe, you've got your torsion plate in the middle, and then your black continental outsole. Overall, this is a really great shoe. I mean, it's an Ultra Boost, so you can't really go wrong with Ultra Boosts. It's super comfortable, it's very stylish, it's super popular right now, too. You can pretty much buy any colorway, wear it with any outfit, and you're good to go. The 3.0 is very similar to the 2.0s and 1.0s, so if you have any of those, you know what you're getting yourself into with the 3.0s. To be honest, if you already have a pair of 1.0s or 2.0s, there's no real need to upgrade to the 3.0s unless there's a colorway you like or you really, really do this prime knit pattern. It's a very similar shoe. For me, the reason that I picked this up is because I didn't have any of the other standard black Ultra Boosts, and I really dug this prime knit pattern. I'm going to put out a comparison video between the 1.0s, 2.0s, and 3.0s in the next couple days, so make sure you're subscribed so you can check out that video as soon as it drops. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look.
That's pretty much it for the video, guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know what you think of the 3.0s and if you prefer the 2.0s or 1.0s more. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this, and follow Fowler Customs in all other forms of social media.